wolves with their piercing gaze and haunting howls have captivated the human imagination for centuries. These intelligent creatures, often misunderstood and feared, are integral to the balance of ecosystems across the globe. Their complex social structures, remarkable hunting strategies and adaptability make them a subject of endless fascination for scientists and nature enthusiasts alike. Wolves belong to the Canidae family, which also includes dogs, foxes and jackals. They are highly social animals, living and hunting in packs that can range in size from a few individuals to over a dozen. This essay delves into the fascinating world of wolves, exploring their physical characteristics, social dynamics, behaviour and the challenges they face in a world increasingly dominated by humans. Understanding wolves requires appreciating their vital role in maintaining healthy ecosystems. As apex predators, they help regulate prey populations, preventing overgrazing and maintaining biodiversity. Their presence has cascading effects throughout the food chain, influencing everything from plant communities to the behaviour of other animal species. By learning about wolves, we gain a deeper appreciation for the interconnectedness of life on Earth and the importance of preserving these magnificent creatures for generations to come. Their story is a reminder of the delicate balance of nature and the need for responsible stewardship of our planet. Wolves are instantly recognisable by their distinctive features, honed by evolution for survival in diverse environments. Their physical characteristics are perfectly adapted for their predatory lifestyle, from their powerful bodies to their keen senses. Wolves are larger than their wild dog relatives, with males typically larger than females. An adult grey wolf can measure up to six feet in length from nose to tail and stand nearly three feet tall at the shoulder. Their weight varies depending on subspecies and geographical location, but on average they weigh between 70 and 150 pounds. Their fur is a marvel of nature, providing insulation against harsh weather conditions and camouflage in their surroundings. The colour of their fur varies depending on their habitat and subspecies, ranging from the iconic grey of the grey wolf to the near-white coats of Arctic wolves. This variation in coloration allows wolves to blend seamlessly into their surroundings, whether it be dense forests, snowy tundra, or mountainous terrain. Beyond their size and fur, wolves possess other physical adaptations that contribute to their success as predators. Their long, powerful legs allow them to cover vast distances in search of prey and chase down their quarry with remarkable speed. Their large paws with thick pads provide traction on uneven terrain and snow, while their non-retractable claws aid in digging dens and gripping prey. Wolves are highly social animals, living in tightly knit family groups known as packs. These packs are essential for their survival, providing not just strength in numbers, but also a complex social structure that supports each member. These packs are not random assemblages, but highly structured units with a clear hierarchy and division of labour. Each wolf has a role to play, and the success of the pack depends on the cooperation and coordination of all its members. Understanding the social dynamics within a wolf pack is crucial to appreciating the complexity of these fascinating creatures. Their interactions are a blend of cooperation, competition and communication, all of which are vital for the pack's cohesion and survival. At the helm of the pack is the alpha pair, typically the parents of most pack members. The alpha wolves are the leaders, guiding the pack through various challenges and ensuring the well-being of all members. The alpha male and female are responsible for making decisions that affect the entire pack, including when and where to hunt, when to move to new territory, and when to reproduce. Their leadership is crucial for the pack's survival and success. However, the alpha pair does not rule with an iron fist. Their leadership is based on mutual respect and trust, rather than fear and aggression. Instead, they maintain their position through a combination of strength, experience, and the respect of their pack mates. This respect is earned through their ability to lead effectively and care for the pack. Below the alpha pair are the beta wolves, typically older offspring from previous litters. The betas are the second in command and play a vital role in supporting the alphas. Beta wolves play a crucial role in maintaining order within the pack, assisting the alphas with raising pups and enforcing pack rules. They help mediate conflicts and ensure that the pack functions smoothly.
They are next in line to inherit the alpha position should one of the current alphas die or be challenged. This succession ensures continuity and stability within the pack. The remaining members of the pack are known as subordinates. These wolves are essential for the pack's daily operations and overall success. These are typically younger wolves or individuals who have not yet reached breeding age. They are still learning and growing, preparing for their future roles within the pack. Subordinates contribute to the pack by helping with hunting, pup rearing and defending the pack's territory. Their efforts are crucial for the pack's survival and prosperity. Life in a wolf pack is a delicate balance of cooperation and competition. Each member must navigate their role and relationships to maintain harmony within the group. While wolves work together to hunt and raise their young, there are also subtle power struggles and displays of dominance within the pack. These interactions help establish and reinforce the social hierarchy. However, these conflicts are usually resolved without bloodshed, as wolves have developed elaborate social rituals to maintain order and prevent serious injuries. These rituals include howling, grooming and play fighting, all of which strengthen the bonds between pack members and ensure the pack's stability. Section 4. Communication and Behaviour. Understanding the language of wolves. To thrive as a cohesive unit, wolves have evolved a complex system of communication that relies on a combination of vocalizations, body language, and scent marking. This intricate system allows them to convey a wide range of messages essential for their survival and social structure. Understanding this intricate language is essential to deciphering the behavior of these enigmatic animals. By observing their communication methods, we can gain insights into their social dynamics and survival strategies. The most iconic vocalization of the wolf is, of course, the howl. This powerful sound is not just a call into the night, but a sophisticated form of communication. This haunting sound, often echoing through the wilderness at night, serves multiple purposes. It can travel long distances, making it an effective way to communicate across vast territories. Howls can be used to rally pack members for a hunt, ensuring that the pack works together efficiently to capture prey, communicate their location to other packs, strengthen social bonds, and maintain the cohesion of the pack, or simply announce their presence to the world. This can be a declaration of territory or a way to avoid conflicts with other packs. In addition to howling, wolves communicate through a variety of other vocalizations, each serving a unique purpose in their social interactions, including barks, growls, whines, and whimpers. These sounds can indicate everything from playful behavior to serious threats. Each sound carries a specific meaning, conveying information about threats, food sources, or the need for social interaction. For example, a growl might warn of danger, while a whimper could signal submission or a desire for attention. Body language also plays a crucial role in wolf communication. Their physical gestures and postures are as telling as their vocalizations. The position of their ears, tail, and overall posture can convey a wealth of information about their emotional state and intentions. For instance, a wolf with pricked ears and a raised tail is likely feeling confident and assertive. A dominant wolf, for example, will stand tall with its ears pricked and tail held high, signaling its status within the pack. While a submissive wolf will crouch low to the ground with its tail tucked between its legs, showing deference to more dominant members. Scent marking is another important form of communication for wolves. This method allows them to leave a lasting message in their environment. They have scent glands on their paws, face and tail that deposit a unique olfactory signature, allowing them to mark their territory, communicate with other packs, and even signal their reproductive status. This scent marking helps maintain the social structure and boundaries of their territory, ensuring the pack's stability and cohesion. Section 5. The Cycle of Life – Reproduction and Growth in Wolf Packs the life cycle of a wolf is intrinsically linked to the pack structure, with reproduction and pup rearing being communal efforts that ensure the survival of future generations. The pack operates as a cohesive unit, with each member playing a vital role in the upbringing of the young. Wolves have an annual breeding season, typically occurring between January and March, depending on their geographical location. This period is crucial for the continuation of the pack, 
as it sets the stage for the arrival of new members. During this time, the alpha female enters estrus, a period of sexual receptivity, and mates with the alpha male. Their bond is strong, and their partnership is essential for the stability and leadership of the pack. While the alpha pair typically monopolizes breeding rights, in larger packs, other wolves may occasionally mate as well. This can lead to complex social dynamics and interactions within the pack, as dominance and hierarchy play significant roles. After a gestation period of around 63 days, the alpha female gives birth to a litter of pups, usually between four and six, in a den carefully chosen for its seclusion and protection. The selection of the den is a critical decision as it must provide safety from predators and harsh weather conditions. The den, often a natural cavity, abandoned burrow or thicket, becomes the center of the pack's world for the next few months as all members contribute to the care and protection of the vulnerable pups. The pack's unity and cooperation are most evident during this period. Wolf pups are born blind and deaf, relying entirely on their mother's milk and the warmth of the den for survival. Their early days are spent in a state of complete dependency, with the mother providing constant care and nourishment. For the first few weeks of their lives, they are completely dependent on their mother, but as they grow stronger, other pack members begin to contribute to their care, bringing food and playing with the pups. This communal effort helps the pups develop social bonds and learn the ways of the pack. As the pups grow, they gradually transition from a diet of milk to regurgitated meat, provided by the adults returning from hunts. This transition is a critical phase in their development as it prepares them for the eventual shift to solid food and hunting. By the time they are a few months old, the pups are venturing outside the den, exploring their surroundings and learning essential survival skills from the older wolves. These early lessons in hunting, social interaction and territory navigation are crucial for their future roles within the pack. Please, feel free to subscribe to my channel.